Assalamu alaikum all my dear students. I hope you all are well, safe at home. Uh, now today we shall start with our organization of commerce and management subject. In this subject uh, we had studied in 11th standard uh, the topic management. There uh, since it was the last topic at the end of 11th standard we could not do much there because of the pandemic that had started there. But uh, the same topic is here in 12th standard also. The first chapter itself speaks about the management topic. Uh, we had done very little in 11th standard about management. We spoke about the definition of management. We spoke about the nature of management. Then uh, we also had different levels of management. I hope you all must be remembering. If not, then you can refer to 11th standard last chapter introduction to management. Please do that so that you get some recap about it. Now here in 12th standard the very first chapter is principles of management. This topic we are going to start today. I'm going to explain you the uh, meaning, how it is ap applied uh, to business organization, why it is applied and there is the very first answer that we are going to start today. So let's start principles of management. Now students, uh, we know in 11th standard also we had done the definition of management. Here Mary Parker Follett defines management as management is an art of getting things done through people. Now what is management? Management means often when I ask the student what do we understand by management, when I say the word management, what, do, what comes in your mind? So the student tell me no, manage karna, manage karna, but what to manage, kya manage karna hai, kaun manage karega. So we have got some idea about the word management, we are, but we are not very clear about it. So here Mary, Mary Parker Follett defines management, gives us a simple definition that management is nothing but getting the work done through people. Getting the work done through people. Logo se kaam karwa ke lene ka jo hunar hai. Logo se kaam karwa ke lene ka jo kala hai. Use hum yaha par management kehte hai. Now from this definition we understand that in an organization, in an organization there will be a manager and there will be some workers. So you can see here in the diagram that I have drawn, there is, there is a manager given in the black circle and there are some workers given in the orange circle. You can see the size of the oval, the manager since he, he, there are few managers in the organization therefore the size of the oval is smaller but the size of the workers oval is larger because in any organization the workers, the volume of the workers will be more, number of workers will be more in an organization. So the managers though they are less in numbers what do they do? They control a large number of workers. So from the definition given by Mary Parker Follett, we understand that the manager is there in, a, in, a, in an organization and there are workers in the organization. The manager will be, what, what is the duty of a manager? The manager's duty is to give instructions. You can see the red color I have written here and the arrow is going from, the arrow is growing, going from manager to the worker side. That means the manager is giving instructions and guidelines to the workers. For every work, for every day work, the manager will be coming to the work and he will be giving guidelines, he will be giving instructions, he may, he may be giving the orders to the workers. Why does the manager do like this? To uh, gi giving the instruction and giving the um, uh, guidelines. Is tarah se kyu karna pata hai manager ko? Because he has got one motive. He has got one motive. What is that motive? What is his purpose of giving instructions and guidelines to the workers? He has one big motive that he wants to get the work done. Manager kaam karwana chata hai workers se. Isliye wo instructions deta hai, guidelines deta hai. So that the workers will understand the work better. The workers will understand the work easily. They will understand how to do the work as per the guidelines of the manager. And in the same way, after receiving the instructions from the manager, the workers will be doing their work. And in return, you can see there another blue line going, the arrow is going from worker side to the manager side. There I have written in purple color, give back the work done. The, what does this mean? First the manager has given the instructions and guidelines to the workers and the workers in return, what are they giving to the manager? The workers in return, they are giving back 
the work done completing the work done doing the work completely and giving it back to the manager this is what I, uh, happens in an organization so the uh, the definition that is given by mary parker pollard hum uh, clearly tells us that in an organization the management the duty of the management is to get the work done through people logo se kaam karwa ke lena yahi management ki duty hai okay so this was the definition you can memorize the definition it's a very simple definition now from the above diagram we have understood we, we understand that the manager gives instructions orders and uh, guidelines to the workers in return the workers will give him back the work done that is completed work okay so this was the general idea about the definition of management now Uh, the next one for in, uh, for achieving this purpose of communicating with the workers and getting the work completed completed from them there have to be certain rules and regulations in an organization it gives rise to the need of principles of management now i said that in an organization the manager will be working giving instructions guidelines to the workers and accordingly the workers will be doing the work for him right but ye sab kuch hone ke liye हर कोई जरूरी है क्या कि मैनेजर जैसे जैसे कहता है वैसे ही मानेगा या हर uh, या कुछ लोग वैसे मानेंगे कुछ लोग नहीं भी मान सकते हैं देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी द सम ऑफ द वर्कर्स आर लिसनिंग टू द मैनेजर सम ऑफ द वर्कर्स आर नॉट लिसनिंग टू द मैनेजर दिस इज पॉसिबल देन दे कैन बी अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑल्सो सो इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द वर्क डन प्रॉपरली फ्रॉम द वर्कर्स देर हैव टू बी सर्टन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इफ वी डू नॉट हैव एनी रूल्स रेगुलेशन then the workers will be going and doing their work in their own manner apni marzi se jaise aayenge waise aayenge jaisa chahenge waise aayenge jaisa kaam karna chahenge waise kaam karenge manager ki baat sun sakte hain nahi bhi sun sakte hain so in order to have a smooth functioning in the organization in order to work very peacefully and very smoothly in the organization there has to be certain rules and regulations see students we are we are we are going to the college we are working there the students are coming to the college they are uh, they are learning there why because our college is an institution right our college is a organization in that organization the students are coming to the college regularly the teachers are also coming regularly they both are meeting in the class regularly they both are delivering uh, teachers are delivering the lectures the students are attending the lectures why is this happening so properly this is because there are certain rules and regulation in the college see students if you do not come to the college regularly then the teacher uh, what what is the teacher do the teacher will be giving a call to your parents the teacher will be calling your parents and asking what is the reason you are not coming to college right if you if, if you fall sick then the teacher demands as a rule the teacher demands the medical certificate right if you are if you are absent for a, a very long time then there there are possibilities then uh, then there are possibilities that you may not be allowed to sit in the examination why are all these things happening these are these are the things happening because there are certain rules and regulations in the organization if we have the rules and regulation in the organization then working with people working with a large number of number of people will become easier अगर इस तरह से रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन आपके कॉलेज में नहीं रखे जाएंगे सो व्हाट विल हैपन एवरी नेक्स्ट डे वन स्टूडेंट और दी अदर स्टूडेंट विल बी फॉलोइंग सिक एंड ही विल बी सेइंग दैट आई एम नॉट कमिंग टू कॉलेज बिकॉज आई एम सिक मे बी मे बी दैट दैट इज नॉट ट्रू बट ही इज रिमेनिंग एब्सेंट बिकॉज ही वांट्स टू गो मे बी द स्टूडेंट विल गो आउट समवेयर एल्स एंड ही विल से आई एम नॉट कमिंग टू कॉलेज बिकॉज आई एम सिक सो दे कैन बी द सच such uh, situations are arising therefore the rules and regulations have to be there in order to have a smooth functioning in the organization okay so these rules and regulations in the uh, in management these rules and regulations are called as principles of management okay now principles of management are the statements of fundamental truth what are the principles of management principles of management are the statement स्टेटमेंट है कहा हुआ एक सेंटेंस है ऑफ फंडामेंटल ट्रूथ फंडामेंटल ट्रूथ मींस जो सच uh, है वो सच बात है अब कैसे साबित कर सकते हैं कि वो सच बात है सी दीज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट आर फॉर्म्ड ओनली आफ्टर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग आफ्टर अ नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इन कई बार इसके ऊपर एक्सपेरिमेंट किया गया है वो जो भी स्टेटमेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट के तौर पर दिया गया है 
uh, when the first statement is declared as a principle of management say for example division of work this is a principle of management division of work so this division of work when it was declared as a principle of management it was first tested on a number of group of people bahut baar bahut sare time usko kai baar usko experiment ke taur pe logo ke upar istemal kiya gaya then only it became as a truth okay so principles of management are the fund are the statement of fundamental truth they provide guidelines to the managers guidelines provide karta hai to manage and control all his business activities मैनेजर्स के लिए प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट क्या है दे आर द सेट ऑफ गाइडलाइंस वो एक जैसे रूल बुक है वो रूल बुक को मैनेजर्स पढ़ता है और अकॉर्डिंगली वो अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट को अप्लाई करता है और व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ डूइंग दिस द पर्पस इज सिंपल टू मैनेज एंड कंट्रोल ऑल हिज बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज स्मूथली पीसफुली टू मैनेज एंड कंट्रोल ऑल द वर्कर्स ओके सो ये उसका मकसद है इसलिए प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट को ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में अप्लाई किया जाता है so we start with the nature of principles of management nature of principles of management there are there, uh, if you uh, students if this is the very first answer in your textbook if you start um, learning then uh, if you learn five to six points there are uh, then it will be sufficient for your answer so i'm considering very uh, i'm considering very average student and i'm giving only a few points here i'm explaining a very, very few points here if you write my explanation that is given here in uh, in the presentation that is also okay if you follow the textbook and you write the explanation from there that is also all right no problem at all okay so nature of principles of management in that the very first number 1 universal so what is the word universal means उर्दू के स्टूडेंट समझेंगे यूनिवर्सल को कहते हैं यक्सा एक जैसा यक्सा एक जैसा एंड अदर लैंग्वेज स्टूडेंट कैन अंडरस्टैंड यूनिवर्सल मीन सेम सेम एज इट इज ओके सेम एज इट इज विदाउट एनी चेंज सो प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट आर यूनिवर्सल इन नेचर प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट जो है वो यूनिवर्सल है एक जैसे हैं पूरी दुनिया में if you if you if you happen to go if you are very lucky and if you happen to go abroad for your further studies and you go for uh, management subjects then again you will get this set of answers principles of management in other organizations also in other countries also principles of management are followed there is no doubt about it so principles of management are followed universally whether the organization is big or a small that means the principles of management are applied everywhere universally without any change if the organization is small then also the principles of management can be applied over there even if the small organization is very big then also the principles of management have to be applied over there for that i have given a very simple example the principles of management are applied and followed in our junior college junior college means what where the uh, 11th and 12th standard are there that is called junior college so uh, principles of management are all followed in junior college when you pass out 12th standard and you go for 13 14 15 that is called degree college so that becomes a higher in, uh, bigger institution right so the same principles of management can be followed have to be followed in the degree college also so a junior college is a small organization a degree college is a big organization okay but the same principles will be applied to junior college as well as in the senior college that is degree college right now we move to the second point the second point is flexible flexible what does the word mean flexible means changeable changeable ka matlab hota hai jisko hum uh, change kar sakte hain modify kar sakte hain lekin uska maani uski meaning waise hi rehna chahiye usko apni situation ke hisab se change kar sakte hain so what is the explanation given here principles of management can be changed as per the situation arising in the organization situation arising in the organization ka matlab hota hai organization mein jis tarah ke bhi halat paida ho rahe hain un halat ko dekhte hue principles of management kabhi kabhi change bhi kiye ja sakte hain kab wo apni jagah par maujood rahe ki principles of management we are following but may be for some times we are uh, do, modifying the principle of management just for the sake of the situation arising in the organization the best example that i can give it now is this is the lockdown situation example all the workers should work together in the organization this is so obvious har organization mein company bolo college bolo kisi bhi organization mein when there are workers 
all are expecting the workers to come on time all are expecting the workers to start their work on time all in all organization the workers are expected to start their work on time complete their work on time be present at their work ओके okay? ये तो हर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में रहता है कि सारे वर्कर्स आए अपने टाइम पर लेट नहीं होना चाहिए काम करें और काम करने के बाद में अपना वर्क जो भी है काम वो वक्त पर कम, काम कंप्लीट करके सबमिट करें बट इन अ सिचुएशन दैट इज अराइजिंग अ सिचुएशन लाइक लॉकडाउन दिस इज अ सडन सिचुएशन दैट इज अराइज लॉकडाउन जैसे सिचुएशन में द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के नॉट द मैनेजमेंट के नॉट एक्सपेक्ट द वर्कर्स टू कम टूगेदर एट अ टाइम सारे के सारे वर्कर्स एट अ टाइम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में नहीं आ सकते बिकॉज द सिचुएशन इज सो वर्स द वर्कर्स मे नॉट बी फाइंडिंग द ट्रेन वी के नॉट कम टू द वर्क ऑन टाइम सो द सिचुएशन लुकिंग एट द सिचुएशन द मैनेजमेंट कैन डिसाइड दैट द वर्कर्स कैन वर्क फ्रॉम होम सो द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इज दैट द वर्कर्स शुड वर्क एंड दे हैज टू बी डिविजन ऑफ वर्क वन सिंगल वर्कर शुड नॉट वर्क शुड नॉट बी गिविंग मोर वर्क एक अकेला बंदा अगर ऑफिस पे आ गया है तो उसे पूरा पूरा काम दे दिया जाए ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए सो so, इसके बदले में मैनेजमेंट क्या कर सकता है जो बंदा ऑफिस में पहुंचा है उससे उसका काम ले लो एंड द पीपल एंड द वर्कर्स हु आर नॉट एबल टू रीच टू द ऑफिस द मैनेजमेंट कैन सी सिंस इट इज द लॉकडाउन सिचुएशन यू कैन सिट एट होम एंड यू कैन वर्क फ्रॉम होम ओके सो द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट हैज रिमेन्ड एट इट्स प्लेस but looking at the situation it is um, it is applied modified in a modified way okay then the third one the third one is cause and effect relationship cause ka matlab hota hai wajah urdu students will understand wajah reason and effect ka matlab hota hai asar okay the outcome the the outcome you can say agar kisi uh, agar kisi cheez ki wajah hai to uska asar bhi hoga dekho hum agar ball ko if you have got a ball If we throw the ball on the wall, then the ball will bounce back. So, what is the cause here? Throwing. A ball को throw कर रहे हो, that is the cause. And what is the effect? Bouncing back, right? So, उसी तरह से, in an organization, when there is a cause, when there is a reason for some uh, issue, or when there is a reason for a particular problem, then there will be an effect also. इसका मतलब क्या हो गया कि अगर किसी बात की वजह है तो उसका असर भी होगा ओके जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा आप बॉल को वॉल पे थ्रो करते हो वो कॉज है तो वो बाउंस बैक होता है वो इफेक्ट है तो यहाँ पर एग्जांपल देती हूँ तो यू विल गेट यू विल गेट द आइडिया वेरी क्लियरली व्हेन देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन द वर्कर्स वेजेस जब वर्कर्स की वेजेस में हम लोग बढ़ावा करेंगे हम उनकी वेजेस को बढ़ाएंगे वेन द मैनेजमेंट गिव दैन बोनसेस when the management gives an increment in their wages jab workers ki wages mein bonus diya jata hai increment diya jata hai to hota kya hai asar kya hoga wo increment ka wo bonus ka asar kya padega workers pe asar ye padega that the workers will be dedicated uh, they will be working very dedicatedly and they will be happily working they will be happily coming to work ओके okay? जब हमें सैलरी में वेजेस में बढ़ा बढ़ावा मिलता है बोनस मिलता है इंक्रीमेंट मिलता है तो हम डेफिनेटली हमें खुशी होती है और हम अपने काम पे खुशी से जाना चाहते हैं हम डेडिकेटली काम पे करते हैं सो दिस दिस इज द रीजन कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ओके देन देर इज द फोर्थ नेचर ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दैट इज कमिंग अप हेयर फोर्थ वन इन्फ्लुएंस ह्यूमन बिहेवियर इन्फ्लुएंस का मतलब होता है असरअंदाज होना मैनेजमेंट किस चीज पर असर अंदाज होता है मैनेजमेंट विल हैव एन इफेक्ट ऑन द ह्यूमन बिहेवियर न स्टूडेंट लेट मी टेक यू बैक टू इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड वी हैड स्टडीड इफ यू रिमेंबर वन टॉपिक वी हैड स्टडीड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इट इज मैनेजमेंट एज एन आर्ट मैनेजमेंट एज साइंस मैनेजमेंट एज प्रोफेशन वी हैड स्टडी दिस इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड सो लेट मी टेक यू बैक देयर अगेन इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड वेन वी हैड स्टडीड मैनेजमेंट एज science that time i had explained you that physics chemistry biology maths these are the pure sciences why are they called pure sciences because experiments are possible in these sciences physics lab mein ja kar aap experiment kar sakte ho chemistry lab mein aap ja kar ke experiment karte ho one experiment can be repeated every time uh, many times and every time you will get the same reading ek hi experiment ko aap bar bar karoge aapko same reading milegi but in case of management 
मैनेजमेंट इज ऑल्सो अ साइंस बट अगर आप सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट बार बार करोगे वो भी इंसानों के ऊपर ह्यूमन बींग्स के ऊपर सो देर आर पॉसिबिलिटीज देर दैट यू विल बी डूइंग द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ ऑन अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल बट यू विल नॉट गेट द सेम रीडिंग एवरी टाइम वेन यू यू कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट क्यों ऐसा होता है अगर हम एक ही एक्सपेरिमेंट को बार बार ह्यूमन बींग्स पे करते हैं ह्यूमन नेचर पे करते हैं और सेम रीडिंग नहीं मिलती है ऐसा इसलिए होता है बिकॉज द ह्यूमन नेचर इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट ह्यूमन नेचर इज कंटिन्यूसली चेंजिंग मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द सर्कमस्टांसिस मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द सिचुएशन द ह्यूमन बींग इज गोइंग थ्रू सो द रिजल्ट दैट वी आर गेटिंग आफ्टर द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विल नॉट बी द सेम देर वो दिस साइंस मैनेजमेंट इज द साइंस बट इट इज नॉट अ प्योर साइंस लाइक फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी में maths it is a social science what is it management is a social science social science hum log school level mein padhte the social science what are the social sciences history and geography are the social sciences history mein kya karte hain sa kya padhte hain history we, we are talking about the ancient people we are talking about their uh, uh, occupation we are talking about their living uh, style so we talk about the people that we had our ancestors our forefathers we talk about them in history right so that is called as social science same way management also talks about human beings manager is a human being he deals with the workers they are also human being so manager management manage workers all are human being so we can say management is dealing with human beings so whatever decisions the management is taking it will have an effect on the human being and human nature is not constant human nature is changing it is therefore it is called a social science okay so here we have got uh, we have got a point influences human behavior since management is a social science it deals with the human beings management kis se deal karta hai management human being se deal karta hai worker se deal karta hai their uh, their behavior the behavior of the human being and nature the management is dealing with all these things which are relating to human beings their nature and behavior the actions taken and policies made by the management definitely have an effect on the working of the people that are there in the organization management ne koi policy banaya hai management ne kuch kuch decision liya hai so definitely that policy that decision will have an effect can be a positive effect or can be a negative effect on the workers okay so uh, koi policy banayi hai agar management ne to wo wo policy ka asar workers ke upar positively bhi ho sakta hai negatively bhi ho sakta hai okay so ultimately i i want to uh, explain you that management decisions will always have an effect on human behavior the workers behavior okay then the last point is all principles are equally important see there are many principles given there are almost uh, in the next answer there uh, that i will explain there will be almost 14 principles okay and all those 14 principles are applicable in the organization you cannot give weightage to some of the uh, principles and you cannot ignore some of the principles all the principles of management are apply, can be applied in the organization you uh, you cannot just simply ignore some of them so all principles of management are equally important and should be applied in simultaneously at the same time in the organization and why should we apply the principles of management in the organization just for one reason that the organization wants to achieve its higher goal organization ke jo kuch bhi objectives hai goals hai wo achieve karna hai isliye principles of management ko apply kiya jana chahiye okay so this was precisely the explanation about the principles of management and the nature of principles of management okay you can uh, refer to the textbook if the students you have got if you have bought the textbook then well and good you can start you can look at this ppt and explanation and you can study from the textbook also for my dear students who have not yet got the student then no problem at least this video and this presentation is there with you aap isko bar bar suniye aur sunne ke baad mein panch baar suniye aapko automatically points yaad ho jayenge explanation bhi yaad ho jayega okay so thank you so much students inshallah i'll be coming up with the next answer in the next video next presentation okay thank you assalam alaikum